talked about him digging through his lawyer's trash. That's legal, Josh. I don't know if you know that or not. It's perfectly legal to go through somebody's trash. Now they're knocking at the door. Oh, 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 we didn't mean it. We were just laughing online. Ho, 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 ho. Listen to this. I can't even believe. What in the fuck? Glasses are off. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? I will tell you to your fucking face. Do you understand me, bitch? I'm telling you to your fucking face right fucking now, bitch. You're a fucking whore. You're a no good, scumbag, fucking whore. Do you understand me, Brittany fucking Vinny, bitch? My name is Ethan, and I want to suck Jim's cock. It's from Josh Moon, but uh, I appreciate you calling in. Thank you for the kind words, sir. Yeah, man. Uh, last thing I'll say is, sure. you know, if you don't train, you're going to die. You know, that's just how it goes. Yeah. So get out there and train, get strong, be fit. You know, that's the best thing we can all do right now is build a community, get strong. Get training, so that way you're not elite great. This, Cause this is just, so I just read the first part, but I'm like, is this fucking dude serious? Like how can the owner of Kiwi farms say this? Like, I don't even I don't even understand. He says, I'm in total awe of how willing journos are to go after innocent people. Think about what, who is saying this, by the way. The owner of Kiwi Farms, who has targeted countless scores of innocents with no relation to anything that's going on. Just, they happen to be my family member or somebody else's family member or friends of theirs. They've went after viewers of my show for supporting my show. And his first sentence is, I'm in total awe of how willing journos are to go after innocent people. You know what? As far as I'm concerned, I hope they go after whoever it takes to take you down, fucker. I don't give a shit. I co-sign it all. Fuck you. You started this. You set the rules of engagement with your little fucking shithole site. I don't give a fuck who they go after as long as it brings your bitch ass down. That's all I give a fuck about. I don't care who's doing it. I don't care what they're doing. As long as you get brought the fuck down, I'm in favor of it. 100 million percent. And you're the one who set it up like this, bitch. The fact that I can't even believe, like, talk about cognitive cognitive dissonance. Like, this is just complete fucking insanity that the owner of Kiwi Farms, Josh Moon, who has personally went after innocence many, many times, would get on post and say this. Like, it just retarded. By the way, I went after some people too. You don't see me say any shit like this. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, this is unbelievable. Random people with three to... Listen to this! Random people with three de- degrees of separation get asked for comment by journals representing large companies like Bloomberg and AP regarding their association with Kiwi Farms and Joshua Moon, a person and a website they've literally never even heard of, and how they feel about supporting hate speech slash doxing slash whatever. Well, this is what has been your bread and butter for years, Moon. Harassing people online, harassing people's audience. I've seen them go after people who super chat and support these shows. Don't ever let these motherfuckers fool you. These are the tactics they've been using for years, and now the chickens are coming home to roost. And all I say is, bonk, bonk, motherfucker. Turn up the fucking heat on this faggot. Up to a thousand fucking degrees. Fuck this piece of shit. I don't give a fuck. Turn it up louder. Make it hotter. That's what I say. You fucking disingenuous piece of fucking shit. Fuck you. Fuck your bullshit ass statement. You are full of more shit than I have ever seen in my fucking life. And I hope and I literally pray that they fucking take you down. That's what I want for Christmas. You in the fucking streets or in the federal penitentiary. That's what I fucking want, bitch. And I don't care what tactic they use. Whatever it takes, everything's fair game. Who said that? Yeah, me. And I ain't never run from it, bitch. I don't give a fuck. 
Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. You're a piece of fucking shit. And the fact that you would get on here and whine about journos going hard, that's I thought I thought that's what it was. I thought it was hardball, Moon. I thought that's what it was. Why are you crying? I thought it was hardball. I thought you could go after people's families. I thought you could go after people's audiences. I thought you could go after power chat. I thought you could go after codes. You know what? Fuck you. I don't give a shit. I co-sign it all. I co-sign it all. It's got the Ralph stamp of approval. I don't give a shit. Fuck you. I know a lot of people make jokes about the press and how evil they are, but you need to take it to heart. Even I, By the way, fuck the press too. You know what? This ain't about defending journos. They're scum. I mean, that's undoubtable, right? We know that. Uh, but you know what? Every once in a while, the scumbags are doing something that I like. And what I like to see is you get roasted. That's what I like to see. I like to see Kiwi Farms hanging on by a thread. That's what I love. And I hope they don't stop until you're done. Completely done. I don't give a fuck. I don't know how much clearer I can make it. You started this. You set the rules of engagement. Even I, up until two weeks ago, did not fully understand how much journals are willing to lie. <laughs> this man has the biggest fucking false website online, literally. Literally a den of fucking fake news. That's all it is over there. Fuck this guy. Yeah, I don't care if they lie about you either. I don't care what they have to say to get you fucking out of here. <laughs> I'm fine with them lying. I don't give a shit. Whatever it takes to take you down, I'm in favor of it. Period. You see such crass, bold statements and assume there's no way someone could just lie about it. Because surely, listen to this! I can't even believe! What in the fuck? Oh, the glasses are off. He's are getting you kidding? serious now, Are Cash. you kidding me? Listen to what? You see such crass, bold statements and assume there's no way someone could just lie about it. Because surely they'd be called out for it. Are you listening to who the fuck wrote this? The owner of Kiwi Farms is writing this. Cognitive dissonance doesn't even... That's not even a proper word. Just abject, pure, unadulterated, unfiltered bullshit. That's what this is. That's exactly what this fucking is. You see such crass bold statements and assume there's no way someone could just lie about it because surely they'd be called out for it. Well, you would think that. You would think that, wouldn't you, Josh? Richard Percival sent $3. Come on, Josh. All the journos are doing is laughing at retards yeah. on the internet. Why are you taking yeah. it so seriously? They're just laughing online. Why are you taking it so seriously, Josh? I can't. The guy is a fraud. His whole life is a con. His whole persona is a con. He's not a good guy. He's a piece of shit. You don't run this fucking fake news factory that's targeted scores of people's families. Not just mine. Not just friends of mine. People I don't like even. And then get on here and write this fucking trash. I can't even... This is underselling it. This rant right here doesn't do it justice. Like, this is just hogwash. No, they lie about everything. Yeah, that's you. You lie about everything. They also really love to lie by omission. What you don't say? Who else loves to do that? Everybody who can call them out on it has been driven off, driven off the internet and out of work. I'm not out of work, and I'm not off the internet. And I could call him out He's on it. He's making more money than I'm going to pat him on the back for it. Where can I fucking donate? Fuck this shit. No, I'm not calling him out. I love it. I love it. I love that this is happening to you. I love that this is happening to your family. That makes me smile, bitch. I fucking enjoy it. And I, like I said, turn it up. They haven't went far enough. He talked about him digging through his lawyer's trash. That's legal, Josh. I don't know if you know that or not. It's perfectly legal to go through somebody's trash. Maybe your lawyer needs to tighten up OPSEC a little bit. I'm fine with him digging through your trash. That's perfectly legal. That's the type of tactics I want to see. Yes, dig through his trash. Yes, dig through his family's trash. Yes, find everybody. Yes, contact everybody. Every business associate. Every family member. 
Period. Oh, and guess who knows where your daddy is? I do. Oh, you know what? I hope they contact me because I got some shit to tell them. Oh, they're not. They don't know everything. The so, people. Hold on. Sh I, wait, sh the people who would be counter signaling journos are on fucking random shit posting websites now because they're not allowed to exist. Such fucking trash. Such fucking bullshit. This guy is a literal fucking cry bully faggot. And I hope they bring him down. And I don't have one qualm about it. I don't sit here and wonder if I should say that or, oh my God, what will they say? I don't give a fuck. I don't care what you faggots say. I don't care what your little retard gang makes up about me next. Because it's been happening for two years and I'm not just still here. I'm fucking thriving, bitch. So go ahead and go back to the fake news factory. Make up some shit because your days are fucking numbered, bitch. I cannot even fathom that this came from his keyboard. It's unbelievable. It's even worse than I just read that first line and knew it was complete trash. But it's much, much worse as it goes forward. Now go ahead, Ali. Sorry. Okay, so what you're calling for is eradication of Kiwi Farms. And uh, hypocritical of what they say, correct? That's correct, yeah. I see. Eradication, that's right. Eradicate, yeah. And, you know, it might be different if it was a different website. But it's not. Ethan Ralph's theme music for the segment sent $10. <laughs> I like how it gets played a lot of times now. <laughs> When I'm on a rant, it's happened many times. Yeah, fuck this guy. I don't regret any of that. And uh, it's like what I said with Destiny. No, I wouldn't just say this about any old site. These motherfuckers have literally been trying to deplatform me for years. And I could literally, it's right there on their website. Oh, reporters Twitter. Oh, I bet this is a violent journal. Listen, to that. even though it's against their supposed rules, by the way, there is countless examples of them trying to deplatform me, even leaving out them going after innocence and all this and that. Dude, no, fuck that. Fuck them. These are the conditions they set up. They thought it was funny to go after me, try to get other creators kicked off sites. They thought all that shit was hilarious for years and years. Now they're not laughing. Now they're not laughing at all. And I see him over on post fantasizing about Co Cozy's going to be here for a long, long time. For a long, long, long time. Now, I know you uh, don't want that to be the case. I know that it hurts your feelings to think about that happening. But we're not doing what they're doing on Cozy. Period. Even some of our more, you know, eclectic moments are nothing like what's going on on Kiwi Farms. So, no, it's not even comparable what's going on over there. And you got the nerve to cry about journos going after innocent people? You deserve it, period. You deserve that treatment because that's the treatment you've given so many other people. And I don't have to sit up here and do some fake ass. Oh, I'm the free speech. Oh, let me let me preen to the fucking faggots and grift. No, that's not me. I'm for you getting shut the fuck down, if not put in prison. I'd rather see you in prison, honestly. So if they can find a way to put you in prison, I support that, actually, over anything else. And I've said this for years. This is not a new position. This is not, uh, you know, me being brainwashed or working with uh, Catholics. No, this is some shit I've been saying for years. And I ain't changing my stance. Ever. <sighs> Now I'll bring it down a notch, Ali. I can tell Ali's getting uncomfortable. I'm going off a little too hard. Uh, my hands are just sweating about the amount of energy you're putting off right now. You took off the glasses twice, which means you're clearly serious about taking down Kiwi Farms as well as going up against you know, RPG gaming, I think. I'm just an analyzing everything you're just saying right now. Everybody could take a note or two, perhaps. That's right. I got enough energy to go after all these faggots. Uh, I, my energy I wish you the best of luck. 
Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. My energy is boundless when it comes to this. And yeah, I got enough to go around. RPG wanted to make it a thing about doxing. Okay, he's on the list. We got his ass. If they don't ban him for a month, I, I would just hope that they do the right thing. Let's just put it that way. Without without going back in on Odyssey, I would just hope that they're not playing favorites and that they're going to do the right thing. I know Beardson completely embarrassed them, so they probably you know don't want to respond. But we have the time. That's what you asked for last time, right? The timestamps? Okay, well, we have them, and we sent them to you. And I still haven't heard back, but by God, I'm going to be talking about this every fucking day until you announce his suspension. Period. So, again, and no, warning's not going to be enough. You know what? Maybe he had done one in the show. You could say that. He docks two people in the show. Clearly, the policy's already been made very clear, and he did it anyway, purposely. Right after he raised hell to try to get me banned. He tried to get me completely banned from Odyssey. <sighs> Fuck this. Ollie, what do you have to say for yourself? Uh, nothing Promo much. I'm just watching and chilling. You know, Promote your channel. Tell them oh. where to find you because you're about to go. Okay. Uh, well, if you want to see more of my content, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Ali Jamal, A-L-I-J-M-A-L. -L. You hit the red button. If we hit 2K by the end of the month, I'll do a house tour. It'll oh, be cool. Really nice. I'd like to see that, actually. Yeah, so please subscribe. Well, that's cool, man. Thank you for coming by. Uh, I had fun the other night. Sorry we messed with you a little bit, but I wasn't really. I was a little miffed. I wasn't really, really mad at you, uh, but I'm glad it got you to get your dad on here because that was fun. Uh, thank you, man. I appreciate it, and take care. Be safe. Take care. All right. God bless. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Say that again, Allie. Bless. Say it again. Sorry, you got uh, cut. God bless you, sir. Have a great rest of your day. God bless you as well, man. I appreciate that. At least in three dollars with Waffle Mail Owls. <laughs> yeah, give him a follow. I wouldn't mind seeing a tour of his house. He probably lives in a fucking probably like Yo MTV Cribs or some shit. Like, <laughs> I'm not telling him what this fucking probably lives in like a gilded mansion or fucking like. <sighs> but yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing that. Anyway, he had a long time on here today. I saw the faggot spurging out. I like Ollie. What the fuck? If I didn't like him, I wouldn't have him on the show. We got to do a kill stream tonight. What the fuck? Also, I'm looking. Uh, I got to figure out my website. It's crazy. Todd Fox sent 10. And it, badly. It's like, dude. What? The, oh, yeah. Straight up lied. Well, yeah. They do that often, too. It's kind of like Kiwi Farms. Oh, I can't believe... I can't believe they go after innocent people. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Can't believe they would lie. What, they're making up lies about me? No way. Yeah. Yeah, they are, Josh. But yeah, I happen to see that. It's like, dude, you guys, it seems like, especially the younger streamers, they like really love trying to fuck them up for some reason or trying to like put them on blast i've noticed that especially you and tyler <laughs> they do it all the time like somebody there is clearly watching your shit yeah no i saw that yeah they said you shut threatened to go to the pulse club or whatever yeah you didn't <laughs> i mean with the nerf gun <laughs> okay it's a silly joke but it's like whatever like fuck they make jokes all the time about killing white people and, uh, you know, punching Nazis and we should put people out of work and put them in jail. Except uh, most of the time they're not joking. Like, okay, yeah, got it. Yeah, ruin them, ruin their families. Yeah, that is, that's no joke there. Yeah, and they mean it. Yeah, exactly. There's no God, there's no punchline there. That's actually what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're offended by a joke? Well, you know what? I'm offended by everything you guys do. And they're another bunch who just like... It's just complete fucking trash. 
doing one thing, saying another. Anyway, I did see that, so I figured I'd talk about it for a sec. I got to go so I can come back, though. We're supposed to do a kill stream later. <sighs> I could just roll into a super show, but it's not special if we do everyday super show. Uh, today has been a really a roller coaster show. Holy fuck, dude. It was like chill, like just completely laconic almost for the first couple hours. I'm doing like some art history. Like you'll never find another show like this online, period. You just won't. You just won't. We go from like virtual tours of the Prado Museum and my favorite artist, and we're talking about Goya a little bit, some Picasso. The last quest, we're breaking down Las, Mon <laughs> Las Meninas. Just, I mean, like really highbrow shit. Talking about Shakespeare and how I saw Derek Jacobi in the, on the West End. Like, I can't, I can't, I mean, it's not even pat myself on the back. I just can't think of another show like this. <laughs> Maybe it's there. Um, but it's going to be, it's going to be pretty hard to find. So I do appreciate, we hit this goal again today. Sorry for me accidentally fucking it up there for a bit, but we fixed that too. No, you didn't derail the show. No, fuck that RPG. That's another thing. I'm not even calling for him to be deplatformed. That's not what I want. Cause I like showing his goofy ass on my show. He makes my audience laugh because he's a cornball faggot. So no, I don't want him deplatformed. Actually, that's what he wants from me. I don't want him deplatformed. Josh Moon, yes, he's a piece of shit. Complete, not the Feasers, not he is, but no Moon, yeah, I do for sure, because that's what he's trying to do for uh, for me. And honestly, if I kept the same standard, that is what I would want for Feaser. But no, I want him to stay around because I like making fun of him. But I do want him banned for those thirty days, like he raised fucking. I want to say raised hell, more like had his panties in a bunch. And got me banned from Odyssey for 30 days. Basically did me a favor, to be honest with you. Because uh, it makes people watch over here. So, yeah, you know what? Uh, no, I don't want him banned. I mean, I don't want him deplatformed. I want him to serve that one-month ban. That one-month ban, like he did to me. Easy for me to say. <laughs> Can't tell the end of my rope here. I won't make the joke I was about to make. They're watching a little too hard. <laughs> I like it when the audience can kind of put it together in their mind. I don't have to say it. But thank you guys for the support. Let me hit that button again. Filling in the blanks, that's correct. It means more. See, they don't understand this, but it actually is more potent when the audience can put it together in their own mind. You remember that more. This is a learning technique, by the way. You remember that more because you put it together in your own head. It, it triggers the memory. Anyway, sorry, I'm giving away too much. I'm giving away too much for free today. Thank you, guys. Well, not completely free. Thank you guys so much. I'll be back for the kill stream. I was going to start at like 8.30, but I think I'm, well, I might still start at 8.30, but we probably won't have the guest until 9. I think we'll go from like 8.30 to 11, around whenever Nick comes on. Uh, so stay tuned. I'll be back. Where is the best outro song in the business? If I can find it. Let's see here. If I can find it. There it is. Thank you guys so much. I had fun. I was genuinely disgusted, but that wasn't that wasn't a put on. That wasn't me uh, you know, hamming it up like I did with Ali Jamal the other night. No, I was actually genuinely enraged and disgusted by that Josh Moon statement. Like I just can't I can't believe somebody like him would actually go out and I would be ashamed. I'm not kidding. I would be ashamed to go out and say this. If I was the owner of Kiwi Farms, I would be just absolutely ashamed. Anyway, I'm not ashamed to be the host of the Tequila Sunrise. I'll see you tonight on the kill stream. Farewell. He talked about him digging through his lawyer's trash. That's legal, Josh. I don't know if you know that or not. It's perfectly legal to go through somebody's trash.
Gracias.